Hello and welcome back to Sunshine Teachers Training YouTube channel. If you're new here, a very warm welcome to you. And if you're returning, thank you so much for being part of this wonderful community. We really appreciate your support and your comments and all your wonderful questions. Please keep them coming. Today, we're going to be exploring a really interesting Montessori material called subtraction with the small number rods. This activity is a beautiful way to help children grasp the concept of subtraction in a hands-on and concrete manner. I'm going to be sharing a clip from one of our recent workshops that we held at our training center in Jakarta, and we presented this material in action. It's a wonderful demonstration of how this activity can be introduced to your young learners. Uh, Nikki, today we're going to do subtraction with the, the small menu rods. Can you help me to set up one set here and I'll set another one? Okay, Nikki, today I want to teach you how to do subtraction with the small number rods. <coughs> Can you count this for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, Nikki, count and tell me how many did I take away? One, two. And can you count and see how many are left? One, two, three, four, five, six. So, eight minus two is equal to six. Let's put this away and we'll do another one. Nikki, can you count this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can you count and tell me how many have I taken away? One, two, three, four, five. And can you count and see how many are left? One, two, three, four. So Nikki, nine minus five is equal to four. Let's put this away and then we'll do another. Can you count this for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you count and see how many I have taken away? One, two, three, four. And count how many are left. One, two, three. So, Nikki, seven minus four is equal to three. Let's put this away and we'll do another. Nikki, today we're going to do. Um, Subtraction with the small number of rods with the problem. Okay, I'm using the symbols. Can you count and tell me how many this is? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, can you count how many did I take away? What? Can you count how many are left? One, two, three, four, five. So, six minus one. Okay is equal to 5. Let me show you how we write this, okay? 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. Okay. Let's put this away and we'll do another one. Can you count this, thank you? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, can you count how many I took away? One, two, three, four, five, six. And count how many are left. One, two. So make it eight minus six is equal to two. two. Would you like to write it? Would you like to count this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five. Now, can you count how many have I taken away? One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you count how many are left? One, two, three, four. Can you do ten minus six is equal to four? Would you like to write this? Let's 
Let's flip this away and then we'll do another one. Flip this away. Can you count this? Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Count how many have I taken away? One, two, and count how many are left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, ten minus two is equal to eight. Would you like to write it? Okay, let's put this away and then do another. I hope you enjoyed that clip. And as you observed, the small number rods are more than just a math tool. They're a gateway to a deeper learning and understanding for young children. Let's go a bit deeper into the benefits and aims of this activity. The primary aim of using the small number rods for subtraction is to help children in grasping the concept of taking away in a tangible and meaningful way. By physically handling the rods, children can see and feel the difference when a portion is removed. And this makes the abstract concept of subtraction much more relatable and easier for them to understand. This material appeals to both visual and tactile learners. The children see the rods and their varying lengths, and by physically moving them, they reinforce their understanding through touch. This multi-sensory approach aligns with the Montessori philosophy of learning by doing, and this is proven to enhance retention and comprehension. Through repeated practice with the small number rods, children begin to internalize mathematical relationships. They start to recognize patterns and sequences which builds their logical thinking and problem-solving abilities. This foundational skill set is not only crucial for mathematics, but also for broader cognitive development. Montessori activities like this one are designed to engage a child's attention fully. The precise movements required to manipulate the rods and the focus needed to understand the subtraction process help children to develop concentration. And this is a key aspect of all learning. Over time, this activity contributes to their ability to concentrate for longer periods, which is so beneficial in all areas of education. Handling the rods requires children to use their hands in a deliberate and controlled way, which strengthens their fine motor skills. These skills are essential for writing and other tasks that require dexterity and hand-eye coordination. One of the core aims of Montessori education is to foster independence. The small number rods are designed so that children can use them with minimal guidance, allowing them to explore subtraction on their own. Successfully completing this task gives them such a sense of accomplishment and it boosts their self-confidence in their own abilities. While the small number rods provide a concrete experience, they are also a stepping stone toward more abstract mathematical thinking. As children become comfortable with subtraction using these rods, they are better prepared to transition to more abstract forms of math, such as mental arithmetic and written subtraction later on. Bringing the small number rods into your home is a wonderful way to engage your child with hands-on learning. And the best part is that creating these materials yourself is both simple and rewarding. To get started, you'll need a few basic supplies. Wooden dowels work wonderfully if you have access to them, but cardboard strips are an excellent alternative if you're looking for something more budget-friendly. The key is to ensure that each rod is consistent in width, around two or three centimeters. You'll also need two contrasting colors of non-toxic paint. In traditional Montessori materials, the rods are painted in alternating sections of red and blue, which helps to create a clear visual distinction as children work with them. Begin by measuring and cutting your rods. You'll need two sets of 10 rods in total. 
each one increasing by a single unit in length. If you're using cardboard, a good pair of scissors or a utility knife will do the trick for you. For wooden rods, a small saw works well. If you're working with wood, take a moment to sand down the edges and surfaces to make sure that they're smooth and safe for little hands. Next, you'll want to mark out the sections on each rod where the colors will alternate. For the first rod, which represents the number one, you'll paint it a solid color. The second rod represents two, will be divided into two equal sections, one in each color. Continue this pattern for all the rods, increasing the number of sections as the length increases. Now comes the fun part, painting. Use painter's tape to carefully section off the areas because you don't want to paint just yet. You want to make sure that you get clean, crisp lines between the colors. Paint each section with care, allowing enough time for the paint to dry before moving on to the next section. If you're using cardboard, you might even consider applying a clear sealant once the paint is dry so that it gives the rods a longer life and a polished finish. When your rods are complete, they're ready to be used just like the traditional Montessori materials. Encourage your children to explore subtraction by laying out the rods and physically taking away portions just as we showed you to visualize the concept. This tangible, hands-on experience will not only make subtraction more understandable, but it also turns math into a fun and engaging activity that your child will look forward to. Before we wrap up, I'd like to share a little bit about our online Montessori courses. If you're passionate about early childhood education and you want to become a qualified Montessori educator, we would love to have you join our community. Our courses are designed to be flexible and comprehensive, covering everything from the core Montessori principles to hands-on activities like the ones that we just showed you. You can find out more information about our courses on our website, which I will link in the description box below, and I will also link it right up here. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Montessori tips and insights. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. And until then, happy teaching and have a beautiful day.